Let's take a look at the packaging that the AI paper comes in. It's minimalistic and tasteful and maybe a little tricky to open. Right, here we go. All right, let's take a look inside. Here's a protective cover sheet and the AI paper is already in this portfolio and the stylus is attached. There's a little additional package in here with a USB cable in it. And I think that's all that's in the package. Let's take a closer look at the stylus. Has a good feel to it. That's the eraser on the back there. And the program button, programmable button. It fits right in this loop built into the folio case. Right off the bat, the, the build quality and the engineering here is great. <clears throat> the edge has a smooth feel. There's no metal sticking out. I love the way that the tablet fits into the folio cover with a really almost seamless appearance. And the magnets hold it in place quite solidly. It's a really nice looking package. It's uh, very thin, very light. There's a USB port on the bottom. And up here is the button, I assume the power button. And uh, along the bottom you have a back button, um, an AI button, and the one in the middle I'm going to guess is the home button. Let's review the many functions of AI on AI paper in the various areas from the home page and in the device overall, starting with paper. Okay, here I've got an outline for an article. What you wanna do in each case is look for this AI icon. It'll look the same each time, but it may be in different places. I'll go ahead and type it, tap it rather. My options are analyze content, generate article or straight text conversion. But as I said, this is an outline for an article. So let's generate an article from this. So here's my article with each of the items in the outline as a heading here. Uh, and I can go and I can edit this or upgrade it or use it as is. And that is how AI works in paper. Let's jump back to the main page and go to the daily schedule. Here's a hypothetical task list that I set up for myself for today and I pretend it's the end of the day and I've done four of the items and I've missed two of them. Now, the AI icon, as I said, it's in different places and different sections of AI paper. In this case, it's over here. My options are organize and daily report. But let's do a daily report in this case. Okay, here's my summary. And identify some, some uh, tasks and projects, some things to follow up on that maybe didn't get completed today. And that's how AI works in the daily schedule. Now let's take a look at the meeting. And in this case, the AI icon is up here. Here's uh, some minutes, some, some handwritten notes from a meeting of the party planning committee. Our AI options here are meeting minutes or ask AI. Let's get some minutes generated from this. And here are our minutes of the meeting. And uh, obviously much more professional looking than the handwritten comments and this could be saved and put in a folder for that committee. Let's take a look at learning. This is actually a chapter from a book that I wrote. Now you might be wondering, where's the AI icon? I can't see any AI icon. You're right, there's none on the screen right now, but if you tap up the top in learning, you'll get your toolbar and AI is on the right side over here. Our options are main points, core ideas, related works. Let's just do one of them, let's do the main points. It will read through this entire chapter and create a summary. And here's our summary of this chapter. Let's jump back to the main page and take a look at how AI works in picking. I drew this 
very lovely sketch of a house with some text below it. There's no place like home. Here's the AI icon. And our options here are Ask AI and AI Text Conversion. Um, there's a, not a lot of text here, so let's Ask AI. And what you'll see is there's a little thumbnail of the entire page that we can send to the AI. And it will think about it and then come back with a description of what's in that drawing. And that's how AI works in these five areas, but there's also the global AI button, which is down here. It may be a little hard to see, but you know, the back button is here. This is the button that takes you back to the home page, And this is the AI button. Um, so let's touch it. And we can send a message to AI. Uh, when was IBM founded? Oops, I had a typo, but I can use the uh, typing suggestions. Let's send it and we'll, maybe we'll learn something. Uh, IBM was founded in 1911 and it was originally noted, uh, named the Computing Tabulating Recording Company, which I did not know. You have another option. If you would rather not type, you can just hold the button down and ask uh, send your prompt by just speaking it. Please compose a sonnet about artificial intelligence. Now it's converting the audio into text. Here's our little sonnet about AI. And that is a quick overview of how AI is integrated on AI Paper Pro. Let's see how AI is integrated in Mailbox, the email app that comes on every AI paper. We'll start with a new email and I'll write out a quick message. Thanks for meeting. Let's talk again. Sorry. And sign it. And the AI icon is here. And I can do AI text conversion. All right, once it's converted it, I'll click on the copy button. I'll close the AI window and I'll switch over to keyboard input which erases the handwriting, but if I hold down my finger for a moment, I get the paste icon. And one thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is get rid of that extraneous text that the AI generated. Doesn't take very long to do that. Enter the email address, enter the subject, and I'm good to go. So that's one way that you can use AI in your email app. I'm not gonna save it. Instead, I'm gonna start a new email and this time, I'm going to kind of outline what I want to say. Email to work. And a tone will be friendly, and professional. Uh, let's see, you say thanks for meeting. Have a few questions. Do you have time Friday? And let's say about 150 words. Now I type on AI and generate an email this time. All right, so I've got a fully written email from an outline. I can copy that as I did before. And again, switch over to keyboard input. And touch and hold to get the paste icon. 
And again, I'm going to want to get rid of the extraneous AI generated content that doesn't really belong in the body of the email. Break the email address and the subject, and it's good to send. Let's take a quick look at one of the newer features that's been added to AI Paper. It's a small thing. You're going to get a new page in papers here, but there's a new pen that's available, the calligraphy pen. Maybe I'll do medium bold. It has a nice classy look. And I will readily admit that there are people who are better at calligraphy than I am. But just to demonstrate the look that you can get here. You'll have to settle for my not very good handwriting. That is the calligraphy pen. The last thing I want to show you in this video is how to annotate one of your books in the Kindle app. So I'll go to the apps and I will select the Kindle app. It's going to open the book that I have most recently read, which in this case, I believe is the novel, The Three Body Problem. Um, so here is the text and it, you know, just so you know, if you pull down with your finger, you get this sort of this settings menu. But if you pull down with the pen, you get this annotation menu. And I'm gonna to wanna to annotate and I'm going to write some notes. This scene is so interesting. And there may be why three dots. And probably your annotations will make more sense than mine. But once you're ready, see this little clipboard icon? That's going to save it to picking. And if we go over there, we'll open this up. All right, good was working on that before. You may remember my beautiful artwork of the house. Well, it's not here, it's in screenshots, what we just did. So I can open that up and I can look at it here and I can also send this to someone if I want to. And that's how you annotate one of your Kindle books. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed the walk through those uh, four features of the AI paper tablet. So if you're like me, you're probably at least a little bit worried about privacy with an AI tablet. I get it. That's why I went straight to the source and grilled the AI paper team about their privacy measures. Spoiler alert, they've got your back. Let me break it down for you and I promise to try my best to keep it interesting. First up, let's talk about your conversations with the AI. You know those times when you're brainstorming and need a quick assist. 
Well, AI Papers got you covered. Your chats are stored on the server, but only for a day. After that, they vanish into thin air. And if you're like me and enjoy a good digital declutter, you can wipe those records out anytime. Plus, the chat history stays on your device, not floating around in some mysterious cloud. Now here's something cool. The automatic titling feature. It's like having a personal assistant that names your notes for you. But here's the kicker. It all happens right on your tablet. No data gets sent off to the cloud. Your brilliant ideas stay yours, and there's zero chance of anyone else snooping around. Fun fact, AI paper might just have beaten Apple to the punch with on-device AI. Okay, but what about file syncing and sharing? The AI paper team came up with this handy thing called vTransfer. When you sync or share a file, it hangs out on the server for just 24 hours. It's like a temporary digital locker, just enough time for you to do what you need to do without your files overstaying their welcome out there. And if you're in a hurry, you can manually delete them and poof, they're gone in a flash. Either way, the files you choose to share, and only those files, are on a server for no more than 24 hours. Finally, let's talk storage. The AI paper folks kept it simple and safe. All your notes are stored right on your device. No automatic cloud syncing, no data floating around in cyberspace. Your thoughts stay put right where you left them. So there you have it. The brains behind AI paper have really thought this through. They know how much we all value our privacy and they've designed this tablet to keep your data locked down tight. You can focus on letting your creativity run wild while AI paper takes care of keeping your ideas safe and sound. In a world where our data seems to be up for grabs, it's refreshing to see a company that puts privacy first. So go ahead, jot down those million dollar ideas, brainstorm your next big project, or pen the next great novel. With AI paper, your thoughts are yours and yours alone.